Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, January 7th. We've made it through our first full week of 2022. And what better way to go to the weekend with my friend Walter Bargan, our first poet laureate for the state of Missouri and resident poet on Radio Friends. Good to have you here, Walter. <laughs> oh, it's always great to be here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank now, you very today much. you wanted to do something we, we've done in the past. Oh. Here, here's how I'm. Here's how I'm uh, describing it. It's the yearly today's farmer uh, closing thought roundup. Okay. Because these are called closing thoughts. Right. Yeah. And and uh, today's farmer is a magazine, right? Yes. Uh, and you have, you have been featured with uh, poetry and photography in here. Yes, for almost forty years now. Okay. You know, which is truly astounding to me. Yeah, so our roundup today, we're going to pick up with what we had last year. Well, I th I, I'm going to read what I think was your favorite from last year, which is the photograph of a cecopia moth, mm -hmm. which is a moth that's maybe about um, uh, six to eight inches, more like eight inches in wingspan, and they only live a week. And here is all this beauty, and it only lasts a week. One week. And that, that's the wonders of nature. Isn't it? And, and here I'm trying to describe the beauty of this uh, moth with words. Okay. <clears throat> Such beauty only lasts a week. A line ascending white, ascending black. A soft blush, a sifting sand, a haze of falling pepper, a shadow of brown, a line of burgundy fingering a faint light. And then each wing, single eye, deeply mascarid, surrounding an unblinking yellow stare, a week of beauty, a moth's lifetime. Yeah, that is amazing. And when I'm looking at the picture of that moth, you painted it beautifully with words. The next one that you have is, is this a, a screech owl? Uh, no, this is a barred owl. Barred owl, okay. This is a barred owl, and this is from February of okay. this past year. And this bird is uh, lifting off from a post, taking flight, I assume to try to uh, mm -hmm. uh, prey on a mouse or something that's just under right. the snow. Solitary sentinel on a snowy day, until something moves, until something makes a skittering sound, and soon everything is quiet again. The field, a snow blank slate, except for the wing beat, scribblings of a barred owl. You know, when they, when they take off from yeah. the ground, they, you get those little brush strokes right. in the snow. Right. So that is the wing beat scribblings of a barred owl. Okay. The next one, oh, this is, this is precious. Closing thought. It, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a, a young boy holding a little uh, lamb. Lamb. Yes. <clears throat> if each day we remember how new and alive the world is as we stand in the wake of decades, perhaps we too would smile. The young have their own language. Their faces, cheeks blushing with spring, are aflame with joy and amazement. Say what you want, what you can. Words are not enough. The awe of embracing a lamb, new life to new life, says it all. It does, doesn't it? That, that's beautiful. The next one is a picture <laughs> of a young baby. This is a young baby cow, right? Yes. And he kind of looks like he's smiling, but Walter has put words to it. I've, I've put words in the mouth of this Of the calf. cow. Yes. Right. Yes. <clears throat> and, and the poem is from, from, the, from the calf's point of view. Okay. You might think I'm a little young. But from the moment I was born, at least that moment after my mother finished licking me clean awake, I knew my future was in stand-up. So I stood up after a nuzzle or two of encouragement and what else to do with four wobbly legs. And though I might not have been laughing, I was ready to show the world my buck teeth, the punchline already on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> And, and I, looking at this picture, and I had never seen a newborn baby cow, but I didn't realize they were born with their teeth. His little, his little buck teeth there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, closing thoughts again now from uh, today's former. The next one is a beautiful sky with uh, a half moon. With a half moon. And, and shining this, through the clouds. And this is the August-September issue. Okay. The clouds are asking too many questions. Answers won't clear up the sky. How long will you keep me waiting for the other half? But which half is it that I'm waiting for? Waning and waxing, a delightful confusion. The fireflies outline their own flight across these fields. I carry a fat flashlight, stumbling through the weeds as I search for the exact words that will hold the moon in its place. Good. Now, the next one is, I think, a midsummer poem. And we're looking at in the field at nighttime, and it's a light with fireflies. It is, it is. Glowing through the dark of a summer night, a flashing outline of silence and disappearance, fireflies reach for each other through their own luminous landscape, through their language of light and courtship. In backyards and fields, we marvel at this otherworldly wonder. You know, the fireflies of summertime, to me, signifies summer in the Midwest. It's just beautiful, especially if you're out in the field or in your backyard or in the forest in, at night and you're just quietly looking at the fireflies. It's serenity at its best. It's magical. It is. It's really it is. Magical. It is magical. And I think we're going to have time for maybe one more. This is what? Uh, th this is November. And, okay. um, it's a cold winter sky. It's, it's, a, it's a winter sky. It's a sunset reflected in a pond with the silhouette of a tractor in front of it. That is definitely mid-Missouri <laughs> on the farm. <laughs> the steady growls of a vintage Alice Chalmers slow down and come to rest as light grows into night. There is so much we don't know, can't know, as the sun sets over a field of soybeans, except that the day's work is done and tomorrow offers the chance to do it again. All right, Walter. To put beautifully, these were our closing thoughts from today's Farmer Magazine. Correct. Uh, that's been around for 40 years? No, no, I've been doing the, you know, it's been along, around a lot longer than that. Oh. I've only been doing the closing thought for 40 years. For far, only for oh, 40 years. Yeah. All right, Walter, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more information, you can contact Walter Brogan online. Good yes, to have you yes. here. Bye-bye.